Hey, there's three or four teams that are going to win. I, I mean, I always love it when the American pundits are asked, are the U.S. going to win? And they look in the camera and go, yes, we're going to win. Yeah. And, you, and you're thinking, come on! Let's be realistic. Our producers ha have, have an idea. <laughs> what, which, which, what was that again? Who do you think? And, and it's pro they're talking to me. You can't hear. I'm, I'm thinking it's th he thinks it's probably Honduras, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Come on. No, but you know, it's it is. It really comes down to form, and and that's that's the that's the beauty of this thing. Um, you but, know, but and you, there's but always but a couple of dark horses. But you say full merit, and look, let's look back over the last you know ten winners, and it's the same guys. It's Italy. It's Brazil, it's Germany, right. it's Argentina, okay, France. I agree with that. I mean, but there's always a couple of teams that, that can mess you up. There's always a Bulgaria or a Sweden. They, and, and they, but they can mess you up. But the, but the thing is... They never it, finish it off. Yeah, they don't, right? right? They, they, ha they have this great run. And one of the African teams will get to the quarterfinals right. and you think to yourself, this is the time, and then they implode, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, to, to answer the caller's it, question, do we think we have a realistic chance of winning the World Cup? Probably not. You know, you know the, the, best, the best saying is this, form is fleeting. Class is permanent. That's why the big boys always win. Is That's that an English saying? I hope not. I, I, hate, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Richard in Pennsylvania, welcome to the show. Save me, please save me from Eric Winona. <laughs> sure, uh, I have a question. Uh, not a question, a comment. Uh, my whole, uh, I'm not sure, this is to Eric though. Eric, do you think the U.S. Uh, uh, soccer fans and the U.S. national team in general, uh, do you think they uh, understand or they've learned your lesson from the last World Cup regarding uh, not respecting the opponent and uh, overhyping their players? And why, why I said this is that I remember last World Cup they were talking about uh, Italy, how they're going to qualify with Italy. Nobody talked about Ghana. Nobody talked about uh, Czech Republic, knowing that they have people like Rosicki, Jan Kolar, Klasnic, uh, uh, Savicevic, all these quality players, you know. So, uh, and, and uh, when the U.S. didn't make it out of the group, the whole response was, oh, we messed up. But the, but the real question, what the real situation was, they weren't good enough. What do you think? Well, I mean, do I think we will shoot ourselves in the foot and face again? Yes, I do. I, I'm, I, I think we've done it so many times where we overlooked that first game, and there isn't a whole lot of respect. Look, I had my issues with the last World Cup, and I was a part of the broadcast team but don't you think that were touting this U.S. team as the best U.S. team ever. I just got to come out and, and, and clear the air with that one. I, I was told to say that, okay? I, I don't think a lot of people really thought that was the best we've ever had.